So, you're thinking about buying a home over here in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Austin, Texas, but you wanna know, is this really the neighborhood for you? Do I really wanna live over here? Well, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about living in Hyde Park. And I'm gonna show you three different homes starting in the 500,000, 700,000, and one real expensive, almost $2 million. With that being said, let's jump right into things. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Austin, Texas, then make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current Austin market. My name is Blake, I'm with the Living in Austin, Texas team, and we get calls every single day from people just like you thinking about making the move down to Austin, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'd love to help you make a smooth move down to Austin. So. Where even is Hyde Park? Well, Hyde Park is one of the centrally located neighborhoods here in Austin. We are just about three miles north of downtown, just north of the university. We are west of I-35 and east of North Lamar. And so over here, it's a smaller historic community, but where am I currently right now? Well, I'm over here at the Triangle. This is right next door to Hyde Park. It's great, this is a newer development in the last couple of years. It's similar to the domain in that they have restaurants and shopping beneath, but then they have apartments up above. So it's small, it's really small. It's only one or two streets, but they've got some good mandolas, Italian restaurants, they've got some ice cream, they've got hot dotty, got a grocery store, a little grocery store over here. You know, little things, little restaurants, little gyms and whatnot over here but it's right next to Hyde Park and so this is technically not in Hyde Park but it's literally on the other side of Lamar that's why I wanted to start today's video off over here so like I was saying over here they've got of course apartments to rent they've got dog park they've got a playground right here as well so if you're looking to rent a place this could be a good option for you with that being said I'm gonna show you the true Hyde Park and all the history and what it has to offer as one of the first suburbs in Austin. With that being said, let's go right into our first house in our first neighborhood. first neighborhood this is right off of 45th street as you can tell we've got these gorgeous bungalows on either side of the street we've got these ginormous oak trees that just hang over the street giving tons of shade i mean these are some old trees now i want to give you guys some history on the hyde park neighborhood so the hyde park neighborhood was formed by this developer named martin monroe shippy and his idea was to have one of the first suburbs in austin so in the late 1800s and early 1900s he formed hyde park and originally his plan was to build all these nice Victorian homes. However, he really couldn't get a lot of sales. Victorian homes were seen as expensive, luxurious homes that people just couldn't afford them. So he pivoted his marketing strategy and he marketed towards people in the working class. So people looking to working in downtown and wanted to live a little couple miles away and their own little suburb. And so they built all these little bungalows that are smaller, anywhere from 900 to, you know, 1500 square feet, these smaller homes. And that's what Hyde Park is today. We've got a ton of cottages, a ton of bungalows, some Victorians here and there, some of these older big homes, but more on the smaller, cute homes, which is really unique. We've got a couple other similar neighborhoods to Hyde Park, but we're going over Hyde Park today. Now, we're going up to our first house. Now this is a two bedroom, two bath. It was built in 1950. It's a small little cottage, but it's been nicely remodeled. It is $530,000 though, and it is right behind me. So you can kind of see it. I'll throw up some better pictures, but that makes the price per square foot right at 588. So this is an expensive neighborhood. There are some lower cost alternatives around here that are similar. North University can be seen as similar. Hancock, Heritage, North Loop. 
Those are all similar neighborhoods. Jeez, I'm already sweating out here. It's getting hot this summer. With that being said, I wanted to talk to you about the history one more time. So the developer, he actually had a streetcar that ran from Hyde Park down to downtown Austin. Unfortunately, it's not here today, but damn, that would have been really cool. But yeah, just to give you guys a little backstory on this neighborhood, there is a lot of history over here, and we'll get into that further in our next house. going to be three bedrooms, two baths, right around 1,400 square feet, built in 1925. Here's the killer. It's 899000 making the price per square foot $627. It's steep, I know, but it is a cool home. We've got these original hardwood floors. There's this spiral staircase that leads you up to this third bedroom that is super cool looking we've got a fantastic screened in porch in the backyard so you can enjoy those afternoon or evenings and then additionally there's room in the backyard that that i mentioned the backyard backs up to waller creek yeah so that's pretty cool and then in the back there's enough room where you can potentially build a casita so it is super neat that this home you know, there's a lot of options and it is actually right behind me here. See with the red door. Anyways, Hyde Park. It's cool because there's a lot of single family throughout Hyde Park, but there's a mixture of older apartments, nothing new. Unfortunately, it's strict over here, like I said, so they haven't built anything new, but there's a lot of older apartments over here, which is cool because that's how these neighborhoods close to downtown should be. There should be a mixture between single family and multifamily. We do have that mixed throughout these residential neighborhoods, which I really like. So additionally, I wanted to talk about what else is around Hyde Park besides the Triangle. So over here, we've got, of course, restaurants, coffee shops. You'll find on Guadalupe, we've got Hyde Park Gym, which is pretty neat. It's like this old gym that's been around for a long time. We've got this giant muscle out front this giant bicep and they actually like work on their machines they weld the machine if it breaks they don't just buy a new one like all these weights are old it's pretty cool in there and then we've got coffee shops there's the deli over there as well and then you'll find like flight path coffee is over here as well uh, there's a neighborhood park by the way i was talking about apartments see i'm walking down a residential street you can tell this is not a new apartment but it's been completely remodeled which it looks looks really nice anyways back to what i was saying things to do around here we've also have the heb maybe five minutes over here in the hancock neighborhood off of 45th street and then there is a hancock golf course which it's an older golf course around here there is a lot of arguments going around in the hyde park neighborhood about what they should do with the golf course some people want it to stay a golf course it's public by the way other people want it to become a park like zilker so it's up to you but if you're a golfer i'm sure you'd like that right in your backyard besides that there is the shippy neighborhood park which of course shippy is the man who started hyde park over here but yeah that's pretty much it you know i like this location because it's centrally located you know there's not a whole lot of bars or you know nightlife over here but you can go down downtown if you want that or if you want to go to the lake we're still 10 minutes from the lake and these other you know trails east austin if you want to go check out some breweries in east austin you know you're 10 minutes from there at most so i like how you're centrally located and then we can jump on either mopac or i-35 we're really right kind of almost in the middle so i really like that unfortunately it's expensive now there are some potentially similar neighborhoods that can be a little bit less expensive north university north loop and the hancock neighborhood they all surround hyde park you can find you know sometimes some better some lower cost homes in those areas but that it still is expensive over here unfortunately though you can find some condos over here as well so if that's what you're looking for you can find a condo for under three hundred thousand dollars over here now it's going to be a one bedroom some of them are two bedrooms but 
Most of them are, are one and not new construction, older condo. Some of them have been redeveloped. But like I said, you can break into this market for around 300,000. If not, I would have about $500,000 at least if you're moving over here, if not higher. So fortunately, with that being said, our next and final home is gonna be quite expensive. <laughs> final home let me preference by saying this it's loud they're doing construction they're repaving the roads over here so let's make this quick so behind me we've got our last home this is five bedrooms five baths 3200 square feet it's listed for right under two million dollars making the price per square foot 600 and uh 40 something i believe but let, let me finish the video in my car sorry guys i wanted to finish the video inside of my car it's just too loud with all the excavators moving back and forth. But I wanna talk about this home a little bit. So yeah, you're gonna think $2 million, geez, that's expensive. But the reason it's, yeah, I do think it is a little high. I think it'll probably sell closer to 1.9, maybe 1.8, but there are just no comparables for this home. There's no five bedrooms. Most of these new construction homes over here range from three to four bedrooms and nowhere exceed the size of 3,000 square feet. So that's why they priced it so high. You know, it's only been on the market for a couple of days. So we'll see if they adjust it or if it ends up selling at this price. Anyways, at the end of the street, it's nice. We actually have eight soccer fields over here. It's this park. It's eight soccer fields, like eight tennis courts. So that's right. I'm talking 500 feet, not even. So that is super close. We're gonna talk about schools for one minute. So Austin over here, everything feeds into Austin ISD. This all feeds into McCallum High School, which is one of the better Austin ISD high schools around. And that's only about 10 minutes away. So you're relatively close. And then we do have this school called the Griffin School, which is a smaller school for students that may have you know, some learning disabilities, learning differences, I should say. And it's just a smaller environment so you can have more one-on-one -on -one time with your teacher so that might be something you might consider if you're moving over here I know a lot of kids from around Austin come over here just to go to that school so you have it right in your backyard which is nice that pretty much wraps up today's video I know Hyde Park is expensive but I wanted to cover this area it is really popular I love its central location I love the historic charm it has I love all these super cool bungalows and cottages over here with that being said I hope to see you here in Austin soon if not check me in my next video